Thank you for considering MedStar Health Home Care as a partner to provide home care services for your patients. In this short video, we aim to explain the benefits of ordering home health care services, what makes a patient a good candidate, and how to complete and submit a home health care order. First, let's talk about home health care and how it helps patients. Sometimes when patients are discharged from a hospital, nursing home, or rehabilitation center, they still need extra help and monitoring by medical professionals. You may also have patients who are disabled, struggling to heal, or living with chronic conditions like COPD, diabetes, or heart failure. Eligible providers can initiate orders for these patients to receive in-home healthcare services provided by licensed clinical professionals. For example, you may have a patient newly diagnosed with diabetes who could benefit from skilled nursing care at home. They may have a wound that will not heal, or maybe they cannot keep their blood glucose levels under control. Nurses help patients with diet and lifestyle changes, medication compliance, insulin administration, and wound care. Our nurses can help patients identify and control negative symptoms so that we can help prevent emergency hospitalization. Registered nurses can also help patients who need home infusion therapy for nutrition, antibiotics, chemotherapy, milrinone, or other IV medications. When you order nursing for your patients, they may also qualify for assistance from a home health aide. Aides help patients with personal care needs like bathing or grooming. Another service that may benefit your patients is in-home rehabilitation. MedStar Health Home Care offers physical and occupational therapies. Our PTs and OTs build personal home exercise plans to help patients build strength, identify necessary home modifications, increase range of motion, and prevent falling. They help patients figure out how to regain independence with daily tasks in the home. The rehab team also includes speech and language pathologists. They can help patients recovering from stroke, cancer removal surgery, or other injuries. Speech therapists address difficulties with swallowing, speaking, and cognitive function. MedStar Health Home Care offers medical social workers who will assess a patient's ability to live safely and securely in their current environment. They can refer patients or their caregivers to community resources like Meals on Wheels or adult daycare and other support as needed. Now, let's review home care eligibility guidelines to help you determine whether this is the right level of care for your patient. First, home health care must be initiated by a doctor, nurse practitioner, or physician's assistant, and the provider must be willing to oversee the patient's ongoing home care treatment. This includes signing future orders if the patient's home care treatment needs to change. Patients must have a face-to-face -face encounter with the provider within 90 days before the home care order or 30 days after. Home care is specifically for patients who have a difficult time leaving home. This means they need assistance from a person or an assistive device. It's important to know that home care is not long-term. In-home services normally last four to eight weeks. Lastly, home care is part-time and intermittent. Patients typically receive care just a few times a week. Each visit lasts about 30 to 45 minutes. Now that we have covered the benefits of home care and eligibility, let's review the steps necessary to submit a referral or an order to initiate home care services for your patient. According to regulatory guidelines, orders to begin home care services must be signed by a physician, nurse practitioner, or physician's assistant. Please note that residents, registered nurses, and medical assistants can write orders, but they are not eligible to sign home care orders. In addition, the provider who signs the home care order must be certified in the Provider Enrollment Chain and Ownership System, also known as PECOS or PECOS. For more information about PECOS, please visit their website.
This e-learning module will review how to place a home health referral order and complete the associated documentation via PowerForm within the ambulatory setting. First, navigate to the Quick Orders and Charges M page and search for Referral to Home Health AMB. If staff is placing the Referral to Home Health order, they must select Propose and cosign required under communication type and indicate which provider is responsible for signing off on the order. Once the referral order is selected, the associated Home Health Orders Power Form will launch. Complete the sections relevant to the patient and review the entire Power Form for accuracy. Any fields in yellow must be completed prior to final signing the power form. Please note, under Section 1, Provider Attest Face-to-Face, -face, only a PICO certified provider selects Yes, attesting to the face-to-face -face certification. Residents and fellows are not PICO certified. PICOS is the Online Medicare Enrollment Management System. Once you complete the required fields, you will see a check mark under the Provider Attestation and Face-to-Face -face section to the left. Proceed to any other sections of the form that are pertinent to your patient and complete the fields in that section only. You do not need to complete the power form in its entirety. Only complete sections relevant to this patient. Click the green check mark to sign the power form. Once the power form is completed, the referral to home health order must still be signed. Signing the referral order is critical so that the patient shows up for home health on the referral tracker. From within the Quick Orders and Charges M page, click the green Orders for Signature button. Select Modify Details and Sign. Please note, the Power Form allows for both the provider and clinical staff to contribute to the same documentation. The form can also be signed before it is fully completed and reopened by modifying the text document to relaunch the Power Form and complete, which I will show in a moment. To open the Power Form to make changes, navigate to Document Viewing on the blue menu bar. Tip. Use the Home Health Documentation Display filter to easily find your home health orders. This is also where you can come to view the Home Health Referral Coordination Note, which is where the status of care coordination is updated. Double-click the Home Health Orders Text document. This will reopen the Power Form. If a staff member proposed the referral order, it will be sent to the provider's message center for signature. The employee is still responsible for forwarding the form to the provider by navigating to Document Viewing or Clinical Documents from the blue menu bar, selecting the Home Health Orders text document, and select Forward. Choose Sign and search for the appropriate provider and click OK. The provider would then navigate to Message Center, double-click the document to open it, and click the Modify button. The text document must be modified to launch the form in order to complete the provider attestation within the form. Then select the green check mark to sign. The provider's last step would be to navigate to the Orders section of Message Center to sign the proposed referral order. If you would like to order additional disciplines such as nursing, therapy, social work, or a home health aid, or treatments for patients currently receiving care from MedStar Health Home Care, you can utilize the Referral to Home Health add-on order only and follow the same process for placing home health orders as described in this video. At MedStar Health Home Care, our goal is to help patients heal regain the ability to live life independently and to prevent medical emergencies and stays in the hospital. 
We want to help your patients live safely in the comfort of their own homes. If you have questions or need more information about home health care services, please visit our website or call 800-862-2166.